talented musician, but I lack skill. But let me tell you how I employ a metronome in my voiceover business. So in a lot of my sessions, I'm working to video frames instead of just time. So I end up trying to beat the clock in sort of strange ways. Roll take nine. This is your month for Truck Month. Get F-150 with 14639 total value plus 750 Ford credit bonus cash plus 500 on top of your trade. Looking like seven for Loads me. of time. I got that whole music bed? No. You were at six, uh, six and a quarter, so you got about a half second. <laughs> a half second is not loads of time. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was being sarcastic. All the time in the world. <laughs> Kill me. Okay. So after you play Beat the Clock for a little while, you realize that your body has reset its internal tempo and you don't necessarily have a good reference point for a more mellow you. And if you have, like another, I have another audition to do or another script for a different client that's more mellow, it'll take me a minute to realize that I've reset my body tempo from reading either disclaimers or, or having to fit things into a small amount of time. And I'll get out a metronome, usually the one on my phone, and I'll try to get my tempo from being like this to being more appropriate for the read. And give yourself time and let your heart rate slow down and let your body settle down so that you can really feel the new tempo because your body will be racing if you're doing high powered stuff and your heart will be racing and it'll take a minute to calm down and get into the zone for the more mellow read and to get your breathing right because that's what I find is that my, my breathing wants to speed up after I've been doing these races and I feel like I'm trying to beat the clock and I really have to reset my internal tempo to make it work.